right, guys, this is a video on how to burn Xbox 360 games. I'm no way responsible for this, and this is for educational purposes only. I already have the game, so it's okay. Uh, if you do not have the game, I recommend not doing it, because it will be illegal. And, yeah, just I'm just doing it to make a backup of my game. So, yeah. Okay, so what you're going to need is two programs, Image Burn and AVGX360. They're both free programs. You can Google it, and I'll probably post a link in the description. So what you're gonna do first is that you're gonna have your one second. Uh you're gonna have your game and WinRAR forms where you got it. I'm not gonna give out the link to the website, look it up. Uh yeah, look on other videos. I'm not going to jail for your guys' video, but yeah. So you're gonna have these parts, take part one, click one second, strap files, put wherever you want, put somewhere safe, click OK. I already did mine, so yeah, it will take a little while. I'll pause the video and do it. Alright, so once you got it down now, you're going to get an ISO image like this. It will be like this. Now you're going to open up AVGX360, and if you have Windows 7 or Vista, I recommend running as, I recommend running as admin because it will prevent a lot of problems that you'll have. So what you're going to do, click this button right here. <coughs> You, uh, by the way, you can get this program from abgx360.net. Okay, one second. Here is my Pod Bomb Warfare 2 disk image file. Uh, dot, uh, 7.29 gigabytes. You're going to need uh, dual layer disks to burn these games. So first you're going to go to Options, and you're going to click this box. Check slash fix video padding. Check for any DVD style game data corruption. And show achievements so you can get achievements. Then what you're going to do is that you're going to uh, go to auto fix up here, uh, level 3, and click launch. So, I, uh, one second. Okay, so, any green, all green is good. If you have anything besides that, it's bad. But yeah, game appears to have random padding, that's good. Uh, this is where it'll tell you your region code. Uh, mine's region free, SS looks valid, DMI looks valid. This will tell you if, if you have your flash, uh, by the way, you need a flash Xbox to play these. <coughs> I'll post another video shortly how to do that once I get a new Xbox to flash. Um, video partition matches known data, that means that the game has been released. Make sure th that this is the cru most crucial part, make sure stealth check passed. Make sure that that is green. You're going to have all that. And I'm just going to exit out of that. You're going to wait until this is at 100%. And, yeah, then you can just press enter. Just make sure that everything is green. If something's yellow, as long as it's not the ch stealth check passed or anything below this, you'll be fine. Make sure that this is region free or NTSC or PAL. PAL is Europe and NTSC is American. So I'm just going to exit out of this because I already have the file. But, but you're just going to exit out of that. So now you're going to have a file like this and you're going to need image burn. So what you're going to do is that you're going to have this, it's going to be around 32 bytes or so, <coughs> and you're going to run image burn as admin. Let it load up. So now you're going to have this. Now this is crucial if you want your disk to actually work. You're going to get image burn, go to tools, settings, and then write. Now what you're going to do is there's going to be a thing called options right here. Uh, make sure you have the newest version, otherwise it might be a little hard to find, but yeah. Um, right now it will be on calculate optimal. It will be layer break for dual layer media, that's what we're using. You have to click on user specified. And now what you're going to do is that you're going to type in 1913760. I'll post the uh, number in the description, but yeah, click OK. Now write image file to disk, go back to tools, settings, write, and make sure that's still that, click OK. So you're going to click on this button now where it says please select a file, click, click it, browse for a file. Now find your .dvd file, not your ISO file, otherwise your game will get banned and crap, all bunch of crap. So make sure that's the 32 byte one or whatever, make sure it's not like the, the ones in the gigabytes. This, make sure it has the image burn logo, logo and click open. So what you're going to need is dual layer disks and your, for write speed, I would recommend using times two for anything. 
Whatever you do, don't go above 2.4 unless you have like a huge freaking computer that has like an amazing disc grader. But yeah, once you see all that, there will be a bunch of stuff in here if you have your disc in, and you're just gonna click on right. It's gonna take about an hour to do it all, but yeah, once you do that, it'll be all good. It'll be all good. Comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys.